The next question I get is, is RPA recession proof? Okay. So this one's going to be a lot of mixture of my personal opinion. Um, no one is ever safe in a job. Okay. Like anyone can be fired. Any company can go out of business. Anyone can be laid off. Here's what I will say though, because you are a RPA developers are developers, meaning they are doers in tech, meaning they are, they have a hard skill. They are not a project manager. They are not a scrum master. They are not organizing meetings and things. They're doing the work, meaning if they leave, the work cannot get done because no one else has the skill set. So what I will say is that as a technical professional with a hard skill and RPA falls under the uh, hard skill umbrella, you are among the last people to be let go. And I'll give you an example. I've worked with a consulting company where they did like cybersecurity and web development and a bunch of stuff, right? And they weren't doing so well in their RPA department, meaning like they were taking on business, but they weren't finishing the contracts. Um, and so they weren't getting paid out all the things. And then eventually the CEO was like, Hey, we're just going to wipe our hands of this and just get, we're going to stop doing RPA altogether. Right. And what happened was they ended up laying off the scrum masters, the project managers in the RPA department. But me, they're like, Hey, you're a technical person. You're a doer. We know you're smart. We're going to try to repurpose you and have you do this. Does that make sense? So even though they shut down their RPA department because I had a hard skill and they understood that I was smart, I was intelligent, I can learn things, right? They And they also understand it's hard to find another you. We can throw a, a rock out a window and hit a project manager. It's hard to find someone like you. Therefore, we're not going to fire you or lay you off. We're going to transition you to this other department.